Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. So God's word is saying, man, don't put on a woman's garment, don't put her in a dress. So I'm basically, if I'm standing here in a dress, you should look at me as a hypocrite. You understand what I'm saying? So you should be like, brother, I understand because America told you, oh, love everybody. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what it is. This no, this not to you, sir. I'm just because I understand it because I was in that same mindset. White Jesus taught us God loves everybody. You know, uh, just accept everybody how they are, but look at how it's gotten us as a people. Now you can't tell who's who from what's what. It's getting out of hand. I mean, at what point do we stop and say, you know what? Hold on. Let's come back to what God says do and do that. Because that's what makes sense. There's no confusion in what God says. We get confused when we listen to America. Man, 
Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So in these last days, we are here to teach our people the truth. We are here to show our people look. We have to keep God's commandments and the faith in Christ, and that's the only way we're going to get out of the conditions that we're in. How you doing, my brother? How, you, how do you like the conditions of our people? We need fix it. We need to fix it, right? So we are here to try and fix it, my brother. Come help us fix it. Come help us fix it, brother. All right. So we are here to show our people who they are, what we got to do in these last days. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the Bible had a dress code for our sisters. She said, don't wear what pertains to men. Why would he say that, Christian? Because I'm not a man. Because you're not a man. Because in a man. I'm not a man. But that being said, if I if I was looking at you two from the waist up, from the waist down, could I tell the difference between if I just saw you from the waist down, I'm just looking at a crowd of people and I'm just looking from the waist down. How would I be able to distinguish the difference from a man and a woman? Sometimes the people uh, waist down, waist down, waist down. You really can't. You, you really can't unless what? Unless you're looking at my... No, um, unless one of them has on a dress and one of them has on pants. Read it again. Watch it. Watch it. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. God is clearing out that up, sis. He's telling you, look, there, so there's no confusion. Don't wear what pertains to men. What pertains to men are pants. You agree? You agree this word? Am I saying your name correct? Okay. You're right. America also, America has a lot of different uh, laws and different rules that we set in, that, that are set in place, right, for people. But it's up to us to say, well, I know that's America's doctrine or that's America's philosophy or America's law or rule, but do I have to do it? Yeah. Was coming out of Egypt. It's the same spirit. It's the same spirit that's back on the earth today. Well, no, America tells us that I'm okay dressing like this. Hold on, but what God uh, tells us, how does God tell us to dress? Because would you be standing here listening to me if I was standing here in a dress? A long, I got on a long dress. Would you stand here and listen to me? Why? I'm in America. America says I can, I can dress like this, and there's nothing you can do about it. I would listen. Why? Because Why? my spirit. Your spirit is what? My spirit. The spirit recognizes the spirit of God. Okay, but am I really in the spirit of God? Read it again. This is the spirit of God right okay, here. Okay, but if your word is telling me okay. what God is saying and you're right. teaching me, okay. 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 it doesn't matter how you're dressing you're right. because your spirit is connected to right. my God. Because I'm reading out of the Bible. Because you're telling me what the word of God I'm is saying. I'm telling you what the word so of God is saying. Now watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So if I'm standing here reading this in the dress, am I really, am I really in, uh, in the spirit of God? Because this is the spirit of God. The Bible is the spirit of God. You agree with that, Corey? The Bible is the spirit of God. I'm reading God's words. I'm putting the spirit on you of God. I'm not reading my own words. Okay, so God's word is saying, man, don't put on a woman's garment. Don't put her in a dress. So I'm basically, if I'm standing here in a dress, you should look at me as a hypocrite. You understand what I'm saying? So you should be like, brother, I understand because America told you, oh, love everybody. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what it is. There's no... This is not to you, sis. I'm just because I understand it. Because I was in that same mindset. White Jesus taught us God loves everybody. Uh, uh, just accept everybody how they are, but look at how it's gotten us as a people. Now you can't tell who's who from what's what. It's getting out of hand. I mean, at what point do we stop and say, you know what? Hold on. Let's come back to what God says do and do that. Because that's what makes sense. There's no confusion in what God says. We get confused when we listen to America. What? They also say God, um, that the white man wrote the Bible too. White man didn't write this Bible. Let's find out who wrote the Bible. No, I'm not saying that Bible. But no. I'm saying that it's a lot of stuff. Stafford, this and that. I'm going to tell you something. Give me a call. 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 Give me
Give me Romans now. I'm gonna listen to what God says about the so-called white man who supposedly broke the Bible or has something to do with the Bible. Because if they had anything to do with this Bible, and it's not, not this truth. If, if God had, I mean, if the white man had anything to do with this Bible, I'm for sure he would have took this out. So the so-called white man, when you read Genesis 25, because everyone on the earth was dark skinned at one point in time. God allowed uh, our foremother, uh, Rebecca, to have twins. One of them came out red, or who we call the so-called white man, right? So they would have definitely took this out of the book, read. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So God says that when, you, when Esau was Jacob's twin brother that came out red, God says, I hate Esau. Why? Because he's uh, he's profane, right? Because he took his pe God's people captive, right. right? So that's why he says, I hate Esau, right? And there's a judgment for Esau at, when, when Christ comes back, there's a judgment for uh, all the nations that had us in slavery. They have to pay for that. They, no, that's, was it Jacob or did his mama do it? Okay, they, that name's trickster or supplanter, but then remember, that, that, that's, that Christianity uses that name to, to discredit Jacob. But God changed his name to what? Which means what? A prince that has power with God. So God don't call him a trickster. So again, who we gonna listen to? What they, we gonna listen to God. God said, no, you ain't no trickster. Cause this happened because I wanted it to happen this way. You were supposed to get the blessing. It had to happen that way. Exactly. Verse 11. What other kind of dress did I give you? Roy, change the dress code. Dress modesty. Put on the dress. God, 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 God commands you to do it, sis. God commands you to do it, sis. Start by buying one at a time. Congregate. That's what the spirit, that you said in the spirit. That's what the spirit of God is about. Okay. All right, sis. So, uh, what's, what's your name, sis? You had a question? You what? Is the Israelites were black? Uh -huh. Their reason. Well, that's right. Right. Absolutely. That, that's correct. That's 100% correct. So which nation of people? Matter of fact, first, let's get black in the Bible. Let's get that so we, you know, we don't have to speculate on, oh, it's hot in that region. Uh, they must have been dark-skinned. You know what I mean? But let's see what the Bible says on how the Jews look. Read. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2 says, so it's in the Bible. All right, read. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning, and the gates thereof languish. They are black until the ground. Read it again from the top. Judah mourneth. The Bible says that the Jews are in mourning. Read. And the gates thereof languish. The gates are, is a, a gate is a hedge of protection. So our gates are broken. We have no protection out here. We have no leadership out here, no real leadership. So the Bible says we're in mourning because of that. That's why we always got a march. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Because we're all, we stay in mourning. Because we, we have no protection, we get killed, we kill each other, first of all. But then the other nations kill us, and there's nothing we can do. Not guilty, not guilty, not guilty. Every, if we get one guilty every blue moon, and then we jump up and down like we've uh, accomplished something. But we haven't. So God says that the real Jews are in mourning, we don't. And the gates thereof language, they are black. They are what? They are black. The Bible said that the Jews are black, sis. So that's what we are here to show our people are uh, the truth of the Bible. The truth, things that we have to do to come back to God's commandments, come back to his mercy, his grace. Uh, we have to keep the commandments of God. We have to understand that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. The Bible is not a white man's book. It's our book. It's what's going to get us out of this captivity. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. 
Salvation is you. And fire!